Good morning, y'all. This morning, it is a beautiful morning. The weather is just perfect right now, y'all. And even last night, we kept all the windows open in the RV, and it was just beautiful weather. And it's, it's really like, it's not humid outside. Well, it is kind of humid outside, but it's just really cool outside. And it's just beautiful. Okay, all right, you can open the doggies out. Let them out, yay! <laughs> So we were just getting done some chores this morning. I think John's gonna help. Why are the dogs barking? Oh, the neighbors are walking their dogs. That's why. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, the neighbors are just walking their dogs. So that's why the dogs are barking. Okay, it looks like their water is good. We filled it up yesterday, so that's good. Do you, do you think you can do that by yourself? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good. I am going to go feed the horses because I know they're hungry, huh, Tucker? Are you hungry? Are you a hungry horse? Huh? Are you a hungry horse? Okay, I know you're lady. Let's go get your breakfast. And we don't have a round beetle out right now like we usually would just so they can graze all the time because we're gonna be moving in a couple weeks and we don't want to have to move the round bale. So that's why we just have some square bales right now and we have to feed them in the morning and now the evening. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. I'm gonna have to give them some, some hay for the morning time. I guess they still have all that, but it's kind of getting old and stuff. We got hay. So see y'all, we got their, our hay in there right now so if we're so when we move it'll be easier to take this than a round bale so let's just give them a flake each we got dark babies there you go that's for you <laughs> good job here let's move it a little bit more Back out push tucker let's just kick there's your hay Okay. Yeah, then, then let's just move this one out because they Tucker will be a little sassy with precious and she'll kind of boss around with food. So oh, that's why we gotta move it around, John. Okay? So they have their hay. Of course they want their pellets, eat their pellets first before their hay. Hey, so yeah, let's get that. Good morning, Luke. Good morning. Did you sleep good last night? Yeah. Oh, we're on top of their hay, it doesn't doesn't matter what we do. They're all, it's all gonna go in the same place. <laughs> but yeah, we don't wanna do on the dirt, but on top of their hay, it's fine, so yeah. Here's a chore you'll haven't seen that often, is cleaning the horse trough. We don't do that often. Well, we do clean it, but we don't really show y'all. We do, <laughs> we do it like every week or so. So we're gonna be doing it right now. As you see, it is dirty. Very heavy to get. Yeah, so we gotta clean this, y'all. We got it. We got a sponge here. Oh, you just threw it. Uh, we have a sponge to scrub all that mold do or what, the dirt off the bottom. They do have a water that is clean on the other side of the fence <coughs> that were used for the cows on the other side. But we got to clean this one. They hardly ever drink out of it, but it gets dirty. It's from Tractor Supply. If y'all are wondering, and if y'all are looking for really good water buckets for your horses or whatever, that's a really good bucket. Alrighty, we got to clean the trough. Okay, y'all, we got that all scrubbed out. Now Mark is hosing it out. We got it tipped over, though. Yeah, it's pretty easy to tip over when you have Finally. four people. Finally. Four today. <laughs> yeah, so Mark's just hosing it out. And then we'll scrub it. It just gets mostly the dirt out. And then, yeah, that's what we're, that's what we're doing. And today, after we get done all of our chores, we are going to be going the Texas boys house because we have to print out some papers because uh, Matthew's taking his driver's test soon and I know he's really excited about that I know I'm gonna have to ask him what he's excited about driving for once we get back in the RV because he's in the RV right now and we're just getting done some chores and then we're I think we'll have to go to the store to grab a few groceries after we get all this stuff down so yeah I need to sit y'all down because I need help them clean the trough Yeah, y'all, that's a pretty tough scrub right there. We'll turn off the hose. 
Do you have any metal brushes, Mark? I know. I think that's all we have. I know we're going to need a stronger brush because that's going to take a long time to, uh, to scrub. It's definitely better than it was, y'all. All water down here. All water down here. Some of the stuff is just really stuck on the sides, like it's like part of the bucket. But yeah, we tried to get it. And we have to leave here soon, so maybe we'll try to scrub some more of it later. But we try to get most of it. And yeah, it's just filling. And I could show y'all how this float works here. When the water fills up, it'll be like this. And then it'll stay shut. But when they drink it, it'll go down. It'll fill up and they'll yeah. be back up like that. That's how that works. It be like that. Yeah. It takes a foot off each year and it looks like that. Exactly. Okay. Think we're done? Think we did everything. Chubby, you don't belong in the mix. You're unique. You have these two big fluff balls and a black dog. And then you have this little sausage. You have this little sausage. Little sausage with big fluff balls, huh? You guys are all so cute. Well, we just got back from the store and printing out all the papers. And yes, I forgot to take y'all to the store. I was gonna take y'all as we went to Brookshire's, but I just totally forgot. Y'all were just sitting on the bench here the whole time. But we got everything we needed, and we have everything, and now we are on our way back home, or back to the RV. We just finished lunch, and now the boys are having their haircuts. I think Luke is having his right now. Hey y'all, we are at the house, and today is the next day. Yesterday, we got all the boys' haircuts, but now we are back. And then they are painting now, y'all. They are painting. And I'm just gonna give y'all a quick little peek inside. It smells really bad in there. So we're just gonna go in there and give y'all a quick little look of what they've been doing. And we also have to go um, count all the knobs on their drawers because we're gonna get some more knobs on the drawers. So you have to count like all the little, uh, uh, in the kitchen, all the knobs on the cabinets. And door knobs too. And the door knobs and all that. So that's what we're doing. And I think that's all. Yeah, but I'm going to show you all inside. Yeah, let's go. Look at inside, y'all. Look at the kitchen, y'all. All the cabinets are right. Look at that. Isn't that so exciting? And it's all white. Just the primer, but yeah, this is the new one, y'all. Look at that. A lot better than that gold one. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at that. So white. It looks so good. Yeah, the floor might be a little bit wet. Yeah, yeah. So, you got all the trim now. Shiny white. And you have like dog pushed in. Be getting it all. Smells like paint. Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> Come around. <laughs> yeah. See how different the trim even looks? Because it's yeah. bright white and stuff. Yeah. It's bright white, y'all. It's bright white. It's white white. What white is it? I don't know. Just white? Oh, I didn't count all the cabinets in there. Okay. Get out of that was the whole reason, right? <laughs> JD wanted um, the brightest white. <laughs> so, yeah. Might as well. Might as well. And that was the new fan right there. But it's all covered in plastic. But you'll see it once we're done. They're getting all the trim painted, so that's what they're doing today. I think they're just getting the trim down. And now you can see right here too, all right there, all right, right there. And the cabinets and all that, and then they'll start working on the walls. And that'll probably be it. We are on our way now, y'all, to go to the storage. We already checked up on all the workers, and now we are going to go to the storage and check up on everything. <laughs> There's a lot of cabinets yeah. in the house. Look at all the knobs oh, we need. Oh, my word. That's, that's a lot of knobs. <laughs> so show them the list. Yeah, show them the list. All right, started counting on the knobs, and that's a lot of little hash marks there. Yeah, it's a lot of knobs. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 74. 74? Wow. Those are just the single knobs, and then the U handles. There's uh, going to be, see, 10, 25, 28. Yeah, it's gonna be quite a few. Guess we have to look for the bulk bargain pack. Yeah. Yeah. Get a hundred pack. Morning, everyone.
everyone. We figured as we're uh, taking a drive to the storage unit this morning, we would do a little chat with you and let you know why we chose Texas versus staying in California. Isn't that kind of common oh. sense? <laughs> Texas or California? Yeah. Well, what's, what's so neat about our country is that you can choose what state you want to live in uh, that most aligns with your it can be political, religious views, just looking at the culture. Uh, there's so many different factors when it comes to um, opportunities for life. Yeah, you do need to have a job and make money for your family, but we thought it was more important to be looking to the future of our kids' lives. So thankfully, I'm able to still, you know, by living here, I can still provide for our family. But what was really important also, or one of the factors was how less expensive it is to live here. Just um, not only the cost of, of homes uh, and land, but just things in general, just the taxes are so much less um, when it comes to property taxes, um, no state income tax in Texas versus in California, you're paying anywhere from like eight to 13%. The, uh, there's so many opportunities for different exemptions you can get when you, have, uh, when you have acreage, there's agricultural exemptions, homestead exemptions, things that allow you to purchase a lot of things without sales tax. Um, the gasoline tax, I mean, for instance, right now, I know that between East Texas and California, the difference in the price of, of one gallon of gas is about a dollar fifty. Add that up over the course of a year and tell me how many thousands of dollars you're going to save. But the uh, the culture has changed greatly, and it is changing everywhere across the country. But in Southern California, it's very, very, it's very liberal. It's very godless, um, and the whole country is being influenced by Hollywood. But there just seems to be the traditions that are kind of holding on um, down here in, in East Texas, I'm sure it's true for other places that are out in the country that at least people have a knowledge of God. Maybe they aren't godly, maybe they're not saved, but at least they have some sort of, some form of respect. Another important thing is fellowship with like-minded believers. We didn't have any like-minded believers, well I can't say any. There, we did have um, a couple of families um, that were that were we were close to. I wouldn't say they were like-minded. <laughs> um, yeah, not completely like-minded, but they were good. They were good. They were good friends. Still good friends. Having uh, a community of believers that are like-minded for um, support is uh, is pretty important when it comes to your daily life, or else you can feel very uh, very isolated. Very. Um, on an, uh, secluded like on an island <laughs> and then go, you know going back to the uh, the financial aspect which is you know huge for the kids is you, there's still plenty of industry here there's that you can work a regular job and and a, a regular blue-collar job and you can uh, provide as a man you can provide for your family my boys it's so important for my boys to be able to be the breadwinners provide for their family not expect their wives to go to work, be able to have a, a home that's not um, astronomically expensive. Yeah, just be able to, if you want to you know, live outside of the city limits and live in the country, be, you can be 10 or 15 minutes away and your taxes are less. You can buy a couple acres and you can find a, a nice humble home for around 100 grand. And in California, you just, you can't touch anything for well, well over half a million dollars. It's just absolutely crazy. The culture there, like in a lot of big cities, is very anti-family. The, the, the message that's being given to the young people in our country today is to put off marriage, put off having kids, go to work, Please yourself, make money, that's where your happiness is going to be found. And then when you want to have a family when you're in your late 30s or 40s before you get too old. Well, 
that's just flat out living for self and that that's why everything is so expensive there also is because not only do people move there because the weather's nice but now you have all these people you have you know dual income no kids and good wages so now of course everything's expensive yeah there's a lot of other personal freedoms here i mean you you can when you own a piece of land you can do what you want on it when you're out in the countryside you're not restricted by some of the the uh the laws in the in the city limits you buy a piece of land you can dig a well you can do whatever you want the the only restrictions they have out here are for minerals when it comes to drilling for for oil sometimes you buy those off the previous property owner sometimes you don't other than that you want to burn your trash you want to do whatever you want you, you want to build you know a 10-story building you want to build a barn you want to build a second house a lot of times if you're out of sight you don't even have to get permits so you can just do whatever you want it's great rather than having the government constantly breathing down your neck asking for uh, every sort of uh, permit and inspection and, and just killing you when it comes to all these unnecessary fees. Uh, personal protection, gun rights, being able to, to, uh, to carry when you want, wherever you want. Uh, I was told by someone who uh, moved here from out of state, they couldn't believe when they came down here and got their, uh, bought their first rifle as a, Texas, as a citizen of the state of Texas. It took them about 10 or 15 minutes for their background check to go through. If you were to do that in California, it would probably take, I think you have to wait a week or two. It's, it's insane. And then they pay, and then you have to pay all these extra fees on top of just the, the federal background check. And then when it comes to, to homesteading and farming, okay, well for one, you actually get rain here. In Southern California, you're lucky if you get a couple inches of rain a year. I mean, it's just absolutely nuts. It's so dry. The cost of hay is expensive. People there view their animals, and not all of them, but the majority of people view their animals all as pets, not as farm animals like they're supposed to be. Yeah, you can love your animals. You can love your dogs. You can care for your animals. We're supposed to take good care of them. But when it comes to down to it, like when you raise pigs, they're for meat. When you uh, raise cows, they're either for milk or for meat. They're not just these pets that you feed. Like when we, when we had our pigs, it was difficult to sell them because the majority of people wanted to keep the pigs as pets. <laughs> keep them, train them to come in the house. And I know that's a thing and people do that. And if you do that, great. Or, but that's not what they're designed for. Here you can have, you know, there's plenty of land, they can forage, they can do what they're supposed to do, they can, there's water, you know, I'm so thankful we found a place that has a natural source of water, and then water in general is less expensive, electricity just in general is less expensive, about half the cost, um, so you start adding all those things up, and with the rainfall, the water, everything. Alright, well that's pretty much the the gist or a little taste of probably just the tip of the iceberg of why we moved to Texas. I'm sure I'm missing a few, quite a few more reasons, but that's about it. So thanks for coming along on our journey and we're almost in the house. Stay tuned, and then, stay tuned. yeah, then a lot of the real homestead yeah. farming things can really begin. So we really look forward to that. All right, we'll see you all around. We're here at the storage, y'all. We are now in Home Depot and we are going to be getting some doorknobs and cabinet handles. I think we're walking the rest of right now because Luke has to go. Little ones. Little ones, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stop. Gotta stop. Gotta <laughs> stop. But after that, yeah, we're going to be, is that returning lights or something? Oh yes, we also had to exchange some lights. Uh, we bought too many, so we're yeah, exchanging them. some. Is that fun, John? Yep. Yeah. Have a funny driving. Are you supposed to be doing this, JD? Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Don't uh -huh. try this. Don't try don't this. Do. Don't try this <laughs> if you're if you're at the store. Don't try this. Yeah. Don't do that. Get permission. Yeah, get permission first. Or ask. Or don't ask for permission, and then I just ask for forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I just asked for. Mine is all right. Just kidding. Just kidding. Here 
the gas. Yeah, those are the ones you probably need, right? Exactly. You either ask for well. permission or just do it and ask for forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the security cameras don't work that well. <laughs> okay y'all, we are done shopping. We got everything we needed. We got our doorknobs and our cabinet handles. And we even got a couple trash cans. And they're strapping it, as you see back there, down in the trailer. And we got a hard rake also. So yeah, we got everything we needed. And it's about lunchtime. So we're gonna be going back to the RV to have some lunch. And that's what we're doing right now, y'all. Alrighty, y'all, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. We've had a really busy morning and thanks so much, y'all, for coming along with us. And yeah, we just finished lunch and I think we're gonna get on with our day. And I'm sorry if my next couple videos come out a little slow. We have a really busy week ahead of us with slowly moving in but I will be taking you along with us just editing the videos might take a little longer because we'll be really busy but I'll post videos maybe not as many but yeah once we get settled in it'll be really nice <laughs> yeah can't wait y'all can't wait God is so good okay y'all have a blessed day and I'll see y'all later bye